MTD CNC have travelled to GOM HQ in Coventry to find out about the GOM testing technology. Now, Amy, thank you very much for opening the, your doors to MTD CNC. We want to find out a little bit more about this technology. Can you explain to our audience how it works, please? Yeah, sure. So what we're looking at here is the GOM testing portfolio. So the main product in this is the Arama system. It's a system that basically measures our customers' tests using a principle called DIC, or Digital Image Correlation. And can you go into a little bit more detail? What does that mean? Sure. So when we look at doing a DIC measurement, we need to make sure we've got a speckle pattern on the part. So first we would prepare the part with a speckle pattern and then we would perform the customer's test, whether that's a, a materials test or a component test. And we would put their part through its paces and basically see what happens. So we can measure either displacements on the surface or strains. Um, anything that the customer is interested in measuring, we can measure with the Arama system. Amy, this sounds fascinating. Can you give me some typical application examples that you have in the field? Yeah, of course. So a lot of our customers are doing either materials testing or perhaps they're looking at component testing. And instead of applying uh, like thousands of strain gauges to the part, they can just apply the DIC speckle pattern to measure the strain and really help them sort of reduce their testing time. And then some of our customers are looking maybe at more point measurements. So we've got quite a lot of medical customers who are looking at sort of component testing of, you know, knee replacements and that sort of thing. So we mocked this up to help people sort of understand that sort of test. So this part would go through like a walking motion, perhaps a thousand times. And then instead of looking at, you know, force transducers or extensometers on this part, we would look at sort of how these points are moving um, at the first cycle, at the thousandth cycle, and at the 500,000th cycle. And this is, and this this is all checked time. from a visual, from the GOM visual equipment that, that's behind you? Yeah, so we've got two cameras here so we can measure everything in 3D. And essentially, we're just getting the 3D coordinates of all of the points or the speckle pattern that you're seeing. And then the software does all the clever stuff of translating that into six degrees of freedom measurements or displacements and strain measurements. Now, you've just done a demo that's behind you there. Can you explain to our audience what you were checking for there? Yeah, sure. So this demo here is uh, what we would call a hammer strike test. So a lot of our customers are interested in uh, the vibration where the natural frequencies of their uh, products are. So what they would do is they perform a hammer strike test. So they'd hit their part with a hammer. Um, and when they hit it with a hammer, they then would measure how the part uh, displaces. And then using our software, they can measure the vibrations of this. And we've got an extra module within the software that can help them calculate their natural frequencies as well. And Amy, just to kind of summarise really, is this a new um, way of testing? You know, I've certainly not seen any in my career, um, any parts being tested in this way. Is this quite new? Uh, so it's not really a new part of testing, but I'd say that really in recent years, it's really took off for our industrial customers. So what we've done at GOM is we've made DIC as easy to use as possible. And that way our industrial customers can integrate it into their tests without really having to sort of learn all of the theory and the, you know, all the things that the university professors were doing, but they don't have to do that anymore. They can just use an Arama system. It works out the box. You just plug it in and you can use it a lot easier now than you could five years ago. And that's why you'll see it coming a lot, a lot more with our industrial customers. So too. a bit like all of GOM products, you're just <laughs> simplifying processes. Yeah, that's, I mean, at GOM, we don't want measurement to be a pain for people. So that's why we want to simplify things as much as possible, make the software as easy as possible to use. Um, and that way, hopefully, we can get more people using it. Cheers, Amy. Thank you very much. So there you have it, simplifying testing from GOM.